Father, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Spirit, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, my dear friends. Acknowledging our shortcomings, let us prepare our hearts and pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary, and establishing among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. First reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you, Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth. Sorry. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see. 
your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. <coughs> when the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zachariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was open, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today's gospel says us that we need to rejoice in the joys of others. When Zachariah and Elizabeth got a child, relatives and all their neighbors rejoiced and thanked God with them. Let us today take a decision that we will also rejoice in the blessings of others. When others are blessed in so many ways, instead of keeping jealousy, let us try to overcome that human frail nature by thanking God for all the blessings they are being received. May God Almighty anoint all of us to have that kind of attitude and make a difference in our families and neighborhood in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Turning to God Almighty, let us pray for all our needs and intentions. For the Holy Catholic Church, Pope Francis, our Bishop Mark Spaulding, all the bishops and all the leaders of the church, we pray.
for the intention so calorri let us pray to the lord for the intention of all our parishioners and their families let us pray to the lord for the silent intentions that we behold in our heart we pray god almighty we place ourselves along with all our needs and intentions upon your altar listen to them in and through christ who lives and reigns forever and ever Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual <coughs> by the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my inequities and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalted in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are in dear holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Max Spalding our bishop all the clergy religious and people of God remember our family members friends benefactors well wishers beneficiaries and all the people who have asked to be included in our prayers remember also those who celebrate their birthdays wedding anniversaries and important events and achievements of their lives <coughs> remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint henry our patron and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father
deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
let us pray <clears throat> grant your peace o lord to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved son at his coming who lives and reigns for ever and ever the lord be with you may almighty god bless you father and the son and the holy spirit go for the masses ended have a good day